Thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, I'll be previewing Real Madrid semi-final tie against Manchester City on May the 9th. I made a video last week where I talked about the five things Real Madrid can do to defeat City. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. City's path to success seems a lot more clear, as Los Blancos has a lot more glaring weaknesses. But even when it looked like Real Madrid were out in the past, they found a way to win through individual moments of brilliance. First, target Danny Carvajal. This season, Real Madrid has seen a significant physical deterioration of Carvajal. His offensive output has been one of the worst of his career, and although the Champions League final wasn't too long ago where he pocketed Luis Diaz, stopping Jack Grealish will be a tough task for him. I expect City to target that side with overloads and a lot of their buildup coming from the left side, as Camavinga has proven to be a much more difficult task for wingers. Number two, play a high press. We saw in the Liverpool game that you can take advantage of Real Madrid's lack of a structured buildup in the back. With Rudiger seemingly to have at least one passing blunder per game and Militao being out for the first game, you can counter Real Madrid to concede some early opportunities. Since Casemiro left Los Blancos, they have not been as solid defensively. And with Chuameni being in bad form, Real Madrid have a lack of defensive cover. In the past, Real Madrid had Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, Varane, and a prime Carvajal, making them a much more challenging side to press. But with the effectiveness of City's press, you can guarantee they will generate goal-scoring opportunity. Number three, stop Vinny Jr. We've seen the season in La Liga when teams have effectively stopped Vinny Jr. It seems to kill Real Madrid's attack and in the buildup. If you stop Vinny, you seemingly stop Real Madrid's attack. Isolating Walker versus Vinny may not be the best approach right now, but asking De Bruyne and Walker to double up on him could be a good strategy for the team to, to slow down his effectiveness. We've seen Vinicius this season get the best of all the best right backs in Europe, including Arujo, Reese James, and others. He's arguably the world's most informed winger in the world right now, and stopping him really slows down Real Madrid's attack. Number four. Start strong. Real Madrid has been notoriously bad starters this season, giving their opponents opportunities early. We saw this at the Ittihad last season when they conceded two goals early. But it took a while for them to go into gear and adjust into the game. If City can score an early goal or two, they can look to build on their momentum. You can almost guarantee that Real Madrid will concede a few opportunities early in the game before kicking into gear. And that's not something you can do against the City team. With John Stones and Rodri in the double pivot, City have found a way to nullify teams in transition, which will be key for Manchester City. Number five, stay focused. Last year, City was in control of the tie only to lose their heads in extra time. This Real Madrid squad has players that can create individual moments of brilliance. Weathering that storm and staying focused is crucial. Pep's teams seem to perform so well when they're in control of the match, but as soon as there's a little chaos, the players seem to lose themselves mentally. Players like Kevin De Bruyne, who thrive when the game is in transition, but in a game where he has to do a lot of thinking, he chokes big time. He set the record for Belgium for the most misplaced passes in a World Cup game in Qatar, only beating out himself in the last World Cup. Kevin De Bruyne was also the worst player on the pitch in the Champions League final against Chelsea. If the game turns into chaos where City doesn't have control, their main offensive threats Kevin De Bruyne to Haaland may not be as effective as it is in the Premier League. But one of the most underrated factors in this game is the mentality. Real has that winning DNA and heritage, which City has yet to establish. Will this be the year where that changes? If you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. Thank you for watching.